Welcome to Real Life with Jenny. My name's Jenny Senapetaratna. Grab your favorite drink, get a snack, and we'll get started. Today, I am still drinking my Christmas tea. Absolutely loving it, so I may not be able to give it up. We'll see. And I have just some peanuts. So let's get real. I want to talk a little bit about home. Now, home is where the heart is, right? Like home is such an important piece, but I want to read a definition to you. This definition is from Google. And of course, because that's what I do. So home is where you feel loved wholly and unconditionally without boundaries, restrictions, judgments, or expectations. Now that is big to feel wholly loved unconditionally without boundaries, restriction, judgments, or expectations. Now I have to tell you, I don't think that's possible in our world. Um, not because of who we live with, but because of ourselves. Like there is nowhere in this world that I love myself wholly without restrictions and judgment, but the Lord does. Jesus loves us unconditionally, without boundaries, without restrictions. There is nothing that holds him back from loving us. And that is, that's mind blowing, right? Like it just doesn't even make sense to us. And I've been thinking about my home because we are heading into a season of traveling. In fact, when this comes out, I won't even be home. Like <laughs> I'm on the road. And so this season that we're walking into is a season of us not being at home. And so when you are someone that travels, it looks super glamorous. I know many people are like, oh, you look at these people that have two different homes or, you know, and they move from place to place and you're like, wow, they're so cool. And yes, they are cool. That is not us. But... <laughs> You know, traveling is a lot of fun, but it is a lot of work and you are not home. So when you're home and you're in a place that you feel fully loved and loved unconditionally without restrictions, you let your guards down. Like that is just what happens. You come home, you take off your shoes, you put your keys away. Um, and I just chill. In fact, 90% of the time when I come home from anywhere, I change within five minutes. I'm. It's normally not even five minutes. I let the dog out. And by the time Kevin comes inside with the dog, I'm in a brand new outfit. <laughs> and it's a casual comfy outfit that I hope no one sees me in. Um, when I'm home, I let my guard down. I am here. I do not need to worry about things. Now, when you're out and about and you're traveling, that isn't really the way things are. Like I'm always concerned about how my hair looks, how things are going. Like people can drop by at any time when you're in a hotel room, they could just knock on the door, you know, and say, Hey, room service. And you're like, I didn't order anything. Um, we never do, but who knows, you know, those kind of things, someone can come in and bother you at any time, but when you're home, that doesn't happen. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about Jesus being your home. And I, I think we underestimate his ability to be our home and our cornerstone. I, mean, I know that the Bible talks about Jesus being our cornerstone. And what does that mean for you? And for me, that really means being able to let my guard down, being able to be as real with him as I can be with anybody else, including myself being who I am and knowing that I'm going to be unconditionally loved, no matter what kind of yuckiness we find. <laughs> Which I'm not going to sit here and, you know, confess all my sins to you. That's just not going to happen today. Yes, it's real life with Jenny, but we're not quite there. So, <laughs> but I know that when I am in the Lord's presence, I can be completely real. And so I am asking you, is there anywhere in your life that you can really feel unconditionally loved and sit back and know that no matter what you do, you're going to be loved? If not, do you need more of Jesus in your life? 
Now, I'm not saying that you need to get saved and that you're not saved. I'm just saying there are moments in our lives that we need to understand that Jesus is our home and our place to go in the midst of complete and utter chaos. As everything that you see around you starts falling and crumbling apart, is there a place in the Lord that you can go and sit and understand that you're going to be unconditionally loved without restrictions <laughs> that you're just going to be able to sit in his presence and know that he's got you now the other day I was getting ready for a women's event and I was feeling very sick I was not feeling well and I knew what God wanted me to say but I had not typed it out and I was feeling really overwhelmed there I had not done anything for Christmas at this point like very little Christmas shopping, no Christmas decorations, no Christmas, like nothing. In fact, this year I made no Christmas cookies whatsoever. Like new year, new Jenny, I guess. But the Lord was gracious and we ended up with a ton of Christmas cookies from people, which was so wonderful and we're so grateful for that. But I am in a quiet space at this point. My daughter is finishing finals, so it's very stressful in the house. It's her first college finals week, and my husband is wrapping everything up for 2023 because he's going to take a couple weeks off, and I'm trying to figure this thing out. And I just remember the Lord saying, am I your home? And I was like, you are my home. Yeah, you're my home. Of course you're my home. And he's like, then get into your home. And I was like, okay, that's weird. Um, And then I realized what I needed to do. I needed to stop everything. And what I did is I stopped everything. I turned off the lights, which for me is um, relaxing. In fact, I'm currently recording in the dark because it's relaxing to me. So I lit a candle. I turned off the lights. I turned on some worship music that was just instrumental. So no words, just some you know, violins or something. I don't even remember. But it was just some things. And I put my head back on the back of the couch and I said, Lord, I'm home. I need to relax in you. And it was like a moment that everything, not all my problems didn't get resolved and all my stress and all those things did not disappear. But I knew that I was being loved unconditionally without restriction that I was just soaking in who he was and how much he loves me. It was just a re, um, I can't think of the word now, of course. It was a moment that I just could sit and go, Lord, I see that you're in charge, even though I'm not seeing the results of that right now. But I'm going to trust in you because I know that I can relax right now. And I took... I don't know, maybe five minutes. I'm not even sure it was five minutes because I think my husband came in midway and was like, I have a question for you. And I'm like, "Mm, okay, I'm in the middle of like trying to find my peace. And (laughs) you came in and I realized when he left and God said, you're not finding your peace, Jenny. I am your peace. I am your joy. I am your your home. I am the place that you need to go to when everything else is falling apart and you just want to get away and you want a moment, just a moment of complete peace. And that's what the Lord can provide. Now, I don't know what you're walking through this year. I have no idea what you've been walking through for the last year, but I do know that the Lord wants to be your home base. The Lord wants to be your place that you can go to and snuggle into. Now, I realize that sounds really weird, and I use that a lot, um, because for me, it is me taking brief moments, whether it's in the car, or it's in a shower, or whether it is just um, a moment of prayer while I'm taking a walk, that I just stop and go, Lord, I need you here. I realize my brain has 15 tabs open and they're all going crazy and I do not have any focus and I'm feeling out of control. And I, it's that moment for me that I stop and say, but you 
are my home. You know that moment, I have it on my door actually from when, from years ago when I used to um, work more than I probably should have and my work was consuming and it was everything to me and there's nothing wrong with that. But for me, I really lost focus and I made a little plaque that said, you can breathe now your home and that's where I put my keys and it's still there. And so when I put my keys there, it's you can breathe now because you're out running like a maniac all day long. You're running errands, you're working, you're dealing with people, you're putting out fires. Like I just remember one day I came home and took a deep breath. I'm like, I'm home. I do not need to perform right now. There's no performance. There is just Jenny in her loungewear. Um, No performance, just being And that is what I mean by snuggling into God. I mean, it is a place that you can go to and you can take a breath for the first time. (laughs) You can get into your loungewear and go, Lord, you love me for who I am. And here's who I am right now. And it is not pretty to anybody else. It's not even pretty to myself, but you love me. And so I just want you to have that reminder, have that reminder that you can run to him. And in fact, you don't even need to run to him. Sometimes it's just stopping. (laughs) It's at a stoplight that you're like, Lord, I have a thousand things on my list right now. And I am so stressed that my heart is beating out of my chest. I need you to be my home right now. I need a moment that I feel your unconditional, non, no restrictions love that you're going to love me through this and you're going to give me guidance through this and you're going to give me peace and joy and patience during this time. And that is my prayer for you. I pray that this year you learn that Jesus is your home, that he is the one that helps you take that deep breath and refocus (laughs) and see that he loves you unconditionally. And If you do not feel that, I pray that you take some time this year and dive into him, dive into the word, dive into prayer, take some quiet time and say, Lord, I need to see your unconditional love. It's okay to ask him for that. It's okay to say, I don't see unconditional love. I don't see love without restrictions. That makes no sense to me because I don't have that for myself. No human being can really bring that to you, but the Lord can if you ask him. And so my prayer for you is that you find that, that you find more of it. You may have that in your life, but I pray that you find more of it. That's my prayer for myself, that what I see now isn't enough. I know he's got more out there when it comes to this, that it is, I can walk in and you're home now. You can finally breathe. You can finally take a deep breath and let the world go and just step into his presence and say, Lord, I'm going to spend it with you because this, what I'm dealing with is more than I can handle. So I need you. Well, that's all I have for you this week. You can find me on Facebook, Um, Real Life with Jenny on Facebook, Be Real and Instagram. You know what? I've lost my touch today. That's okay. You can also find me at ChristConnection.cc. Super excited about our time in finding Jesus as our home. I pray that you'd find his unconditional love without restrictions, (laughs) without any boundaries, that he will love you just for who you are. Have a great week.